Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior Online, where we are playing the Cougar today. We are playing a very nasty little sniper build. We are only a 35 ton mech, so we are squishy. However, the firepower of that thing is absolutely fantastic compared to the weight it brings to the table. So let's dive into it. It is worth noting that we are using all the Cougar E hard points. Uh, I'm gonna dive into that in a second. But the Cougar E left and right also allow us to uh, take two PPCs that are very high mounted, which means if you see an enemy, you can most likely shoot it when, uh, you know, you have direct line of sight to it. And that's pretty good. Cool thing about ERPPCs uh, compared to any kind of laser build is that they are projectile based sniper weapons, which means if you see an enemy on the horizon, you can just shoot him and then instantly go back to cover. And your projectiles in the meantime will travel towards your enemy. So you minimize the exposure time to your enemy. And uh, if he gets hit by your projectile, he should not be able to know where it was coming from. So he should not be able to see you anymore. There are a lot of people who are actually staring down their enemies in order to see if they are hitting or not. But uh, in a build like that, you can just trust your instincts, fire and forget, and then get back to cover. That's the best defensive maneuver that you can do at that point. That's why we're going to take the ER PPCs. And again, the high mounts are really cool. So why are we taking the E left and right side tosses as well as every other Omni port on this mech? That is also the E variant. Because we get an 8-piece uh, Omni-set pot bonus thing that gives us 10% cooldown reduction. And, more importantly, 10% heat reduction. This is really cool. Mm -hmm, giggity. Um, yeah, because we can shoot more often. And that's, that's, that's great. I want that. Kuga doesn't have that much cooling. We are running 9... No, sorry. Uh, 16 double heat sinks. That's not that much for a double PPC build. But with the 10% cooldown and the 10% heat, we can sustain ourselves a little bit longer. And that's really, really nice. Also, we are running an active probe here. It's a light active probe that only weighs half a ton because I had some spare weight left over. And that gives us a little bit of a range boost as well, like targeting range sensor range boost, as well as a targeting gain time boost, which means we can spot the enemy's weak spots a little bit faster. However, if you don't want to go for the Cougar E full Omni pod set bonus, you can do something else. You can actually go ahead and take the Cougar H head that allows you to put an ECM on the mech that gives you... Shielding from the enemy sensors, but they can still spot you. So make sure that you are unaware to your enemies, that you get cover, that you have, uh, you know, target diversion around you in form of teammates and uh, still not be an obvious target to your enemies. In order to get the ECM in, you actually have to invest a full ton. We only have half a ton, which means you've got to strip the legs down to something like 28 and I would say the head down to something like 9 and then you can put it in here. So if you are below the exposure level, your legs won't get hit that often anyway. You might be able to drop a little bit of armor from the arms. At the same time, I like my arms protected because they are two double heat sinks in each and I value them a lot. So therefore, I'm going to go for, you know, a little bit less leg armor. This actually, by the way, not even, but you get the gist, right? So you can build it yourself. Let's go ahead and take a look at skills before we get into the games. As you can see, I'm maximizing heat gen because, again, PPCs tend to get toasty and I want every bit of heat management that I can muster, except for this one here, because this is not really efficient to go down there. We would invest four points and I don't value one point of heat gen enough to actually get four more points. Apart from it, velocity is nice because, you know, you, you get that PPC shot out and when your enemies are far away and they are moving, it's, it's easier to hit them and you don't have to lead your shots so much. That's really nice to have. We also got a bit of survivability in form of armor hardening. We got maximum cool run and maximum heat containment as well as, and here it's getting interesting, uh, we have rated deprivation. And I was going for um, seismic sensor today because when running a sniper build, I usually get the sniper disease and not, I don't know, I, I sometimes forget about moving with the team. And sometimes I find myself in a very um, abandoned spot and when... Some enemies are creeping upon me then, I can see it on the minimap. Therefore, on a sniper build like this, seismic sensor is not a must, but a very nice to have. By the way, I'm not going for advanced zoom because advanced zoom is so wobbly in terms of mouse movement. It completely um, throws me off my aim and therefore I'm not using it. We also have mm, double cool shot and double artillery strikes, some extra auxiliary stuff that helps us dealing a bit more damage. Uh, either by shooting more or either by calling down artillery shells. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. 
Alrighty, first game of the day. Guess who forgot consumables? That guy. Alright guys, uh, yeah, it's the first time I'm ever playing a Cougar E. Ever, ever, ever. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to get into the fight and we're gonna try to actually get some damage out before the enemies can shoot us back. So that's usually a good thing. If you have long-range weapons, try to be in a good spot to support your team and again deliver damage early on. Um, and then, you know, get into the brawl later. Uh, wait, no, we are not getting into a brawl. I, I think I shouldn't do that. We'll see. Also, high ground? Should we get in a sniper spot? I mean, we have nothing like jump jets or anything. Uh, we could. We could try. So people are going left here, which is good. There's a guy. Yeah, we have a locust on the left side, Echo 4. All right, uh, was it a locust? Was it a flea? I don't know. We need to wait for the bigger guys to come up because that fast mover is really hard to hit. But I think I'm going to stick with the team. I'm not going to go on a uh, separate spot and be, you know, caught out there. Uh, there's no Baradul on this team, no. No, there is no Baradul at all. So let's, uh, let's wait for the Locust to come back online. Come back up here. Wait, he's coming back? What is, what is that madness? What are you doing there? Okay, you got it. So I can probably not catch the Locust, but I can set up here and wait for the rest of the team to come up. There's nobody here yet. There's a guy. <laughs> that was a good hit. All right, let's do it again. So enemies are setting up Target there. Acquired. Ah, sadly didn't hit him. But he is on his toes now, hopefully. Again, they're pulling back. But that's fine. You know what? We're going to hold it up here. We're going to just set up a firing line. Gauss rifle's being shot. That's not good. Did you see the discharge there? There was a lot of sparks. That was a Gauss rifle. I got to be aware of that thing guy coming up here where to left or right left or freaking right where did they go i'm gonna go this is too risky for me i don't want to be there exposed let's move with the team and see if we can help here locust is still running around that's crazy let's peek out get the crow and we did some damage hey hey dude hey locust Probably on his tail, right? On his tail, on his toes. Let's try again. Nope. Nope. No target. He has a target. That's a sun spider with a Gauss rifle. All right. So we traded. Tried to hit the locust again. Didn't work. And there's a lot of artillery here. So we're going to change position again. We're going to watch our backs. That's important. Base is being captured. Are you kidding me? And nobody is peeping up there. What am I saying even? Peeking up. <laughs> right, let's go uh, up against the Locust. There's a big fight going on and I want to support a little bit. All right, let's see. And we peek out. I mean, we can hit the Jaguar. That's a thing. Oh, don't hit me. Don't hit me. I'm hitting you. You hit me. It's a fair trade. Let's go. Here are the Locusts. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right, one down. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Uh, there's another one. Yeah, a little bit too much. And Misty Lynx! The other Locust here. Nice to go. Okay, that's everybody. Actually, that's good. That's really good. We can peek from two angles now. Our people to the right, and then we're gonna go in here. Ow! This guy is really good at shooting. Where's the Misty Lynx, by the way? I see a Locust here. Nope. Not like that. Also, that should be chain fire. Alright, we're gonna peek again. Hopefully being fast enough to get some damage out without return fire. And they are making a move now, which is great, honestly. Okay, so we got the range. That's fine. Might as well. So should I go back? These guys are heavily under pressure. Sun Spider is not on the spot anymore. All right, let's stay in motion. Shoot the Jaguar, be instantly dissatisfied with the shot. And try again. Oh, I'm getting shot by lasers now. That's what you're doing. Where? There? <laughs> we hit him. Holy crap. So it's a very slow-paced game. And I think our assault makes actually need to do something. Um, but I think we, we can hold it for a little longer. My mech doesn't look great anymore. That's a problem. Problem that I'm having big time. People are kind of trying to push towards the front line. It is so risky to peek out now. But the people are making, my enemies are making a move towards the right side, more or less, I think. So high ground seems safe. 
I'm just a little guy. I'm not really, you know, having armor. All right, there's a guy. I'm gonna say hi to that guy. You know, just to give him something. Just to suppress him. And I'm not gonna push this first. I want my stalker to go in first because I'm not gonna take all the damage. Uh-uh, not gonna happen. I know that they are people and I'm support. I'm willing to support. Come on, stalk. All right. They have a UAV. They know. They know big time. All right, let's go. Let's not go. Let's not go at all. The Waka is half down, by the way. Ugh, the artillery is taking us. Small laser mislinks? Um, no thank you. Definitely no thank you. But I think we kind of have a push going on. Kind of. Uh, and again, I just want to try to suppress these guys as much as possible. You can see Seismic Sensor is kicking in as well. Cannot reach that UAV, by the way. Um, yeah, we have a push going on. Let's go. Nope. High ground is safe. Ish. God, this is risky. I don't want to push this. I mean, I want to push this, but not alone. I don't want to initiate. All right, let's stay with the stalker. Let's stay with the big guys. We are a support, and sadly, we couldn't really shoot all the time, which is kind of a shame. But there's a guy up high again. Pulling back. Okay. I mean, the Jaguar is basically down. Oh, really? Come on, invisible wall. Yeah, he pulled back. This guy is also half down. Also, enemies behind us, right in our midst. All right, let's come over here. Okay. I mean, fair. I'm gonna get that kill. Um, but... I think it should have hit the first time. Alright, let's go. Push it. Did we... What? Wait, what's enhanced imaging? What the... What? What's enhanced imaging? What the... <laughs> Alright, 8 and 3. This is it, guys. We're gonna go in. We're gonna kill everybody. I don't know if the knight here is still on a sniper spot. Kind of is. We got the killing blow. So he's gone. Nine and four. Now it's time to wrap it up, I think. I mean, we are really ahead of this game. 200 meters. Jaguar coming. That's the lag Jaguar. So the Lagua. I'm gonna go for it. Let's see if we can actually get the kill. We couldn't. But there's another guy right next to the Jag. Oh, and somebody behind me. That was the spider. All right. Bloody revenge. And that's the last dude. If he get a shot on the center, we should, we should get him. But I'm pretty satisfied with it. We got four kills out of that. We suppressed the long rangers. We were actually useful here. We got a nice kill on the locust early on. That was a good game, guys. Damage, 400. Oh, 512. That's more than I expected. We got like four killing blows, six assists. We got one kill most damage dealt even. And four components destroyed. Yeah, again, the thing is, I wasn't shooting all the time. I was not riding my heat scale. Therefore, a lot of DPS was not, uh, you know, shot. But at the same time... I think I did well. So let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing the Viridian Bark. We are playing Skirmish. And I think it's a good idea to stick with the Blood Ass because that guy is a big obvious target. And I'm just a Cougar. So we're going to use our small silhouette and our narrow... It's not a narrow profile, but we have a small profile um, to actually not be relevant to the enemies when there is a bigger mech around. So let's pop up here. Get a little bit of damage out and, uh, you know, stick to the big dude. Usually, you know. Uh, let's see. Okay, so left or right? Left or right? Oh, I'm gonna go right because I might um, get a better shot at my enemies. I hope that I'm not starting a NASCAR with that. So people should know that this is a kind of a risky spot. Hit the stalker once. So that's good. By the way, I got two shots now. Yeah, that's so good. Ooh. What? No. And I got hit in return and there are missiles coming. All right, I'm gonna... Dodge them, I wanted to say. I didn't dodge them. Do they have a spotter? Why am I... Or why was I tracked for so long? Alright, this is risky as hell. Oh, there, there we go. That's a problem. That's a big problem. That's an annihilator. He doesn't care about me. That's the good news. And I'm kind of in cover again. And that's great. So, Annie. I gotta take you down. Or at the very least, damage you a little. Oh, there he comes, the big Mecha Godzilla roaming through the tree line. Is the side also open now? Oh, Annie is not gonna have a good time. Nope. And that might actually be a kill here. Uh, he's gonna come out of this spot again. Oh, wait, that's, that's, that's a guy. All right, that's an ECM guy. All right, Annie needs to go. 
That guy also needs to go. I don't want him to be too comfortable, so we can keep shooting on Annihilators. All right, that's good. That's pretty good. Where's the Marauder? Marauder still here? Marauder gone? Any gone? I don't want to peek out. It's too risky. I'm going to leave it to my team to actually finish the job. Uh, actually, now that we have some people here, we might want to do it. Oh, <laughs> no! Why? I was aligning my shot and then that. Yo, that's the worst when you're ready to shoot and then a friend jumps right in front of you. All right, we should get that high ground, by the way. Uh, get the high ground, Delta 5, guys. Delta 5, only a few mechs there. Um, all right, we got a PPC, Shadow Hawk. No problem there. Got a light mech. Nice UAV, Mr. Locust. And I think we can actually get him. Let's go. Oh, they also have a UAV. Now that's a problem. Um, I'm not going to push out before we got that UAV down. Or maybe? Maybe we are going because the King Crab is there and my friends are dying. All right, let's go for it. Uh, I'm sorry. I am sorry, but King Crab is bored. Yeah, that's not working. Speaking of, not many people here. We have a whole lot of enemies. What's that? That's a Kid Fox with 80 freaking amps. And I missed him. Um, so yeah, so much for that. Was a misassessment of the situation, clearly. There's a lot more than I thought it would be. Alright. I mean, we got the big boys here. Let's go. Let's go with the Kodiak. Got the PPC Shadowhawk. He's not a good target. He's not really relevant to the immediate fight. He's not a brawler, and right now we are in a brawling scenario. Oh no, that's my friend the Sunny Spider, huh? That's a Gauss large laser build. Yeah, let's go. Dropping Adi. Ah, oh, too high. A little bit too high. I usually over overshoot King Crabs. Usually. Uh, but yeah, we have a lot of people fighting here. This is a messy situation now. Let's go for Mr. Crab. Ow. Um. Also critical. That's that's a problem. Okay, I tried to drop my Arty Strike on the crab. I don't know if I got it. Let's see. So the shells should come down like now. Yeah, that is a good artillery strike. It's a one and one in terms of kills. My right side also doesn't look great, and I think I need to go down. Like down, down. Maybe not actually. So we got another shot out there. Oh god, that's an enemy. Didn't hit him. And I need my friends now. Alright, friends. Please help. I need you. Oh, Shadowhawk. Still here. Here's the Marauder. Uh, who actually got a kill on us? Not cool. Alright, Mr. Marauder. What now? I mean, we are still winning the fight. That's the good news. Didn't want to push out any further. It was more defensive than an offensive move right now. Because I'm afraid of that guy. He's afraid. Oh, actually, he's not that afraid. I mean, we can get the Sun Spider, possibly. And then there is a Wolvie who's gonna shred me. Yeah, I'm dead. That's where I'm gonna go down. But let's see if we can maybe delay the inevitable. There's no delaying anything. <laughs> Yo, we dealt 723 damage here. That's pretty solid. Granted, one of the damage big spikes was an artillery strike that was very well placed. Now it's kind of, kind of on our team to finish this. Let's see, the Wolvie is about to get killed. Night here with a lot of large lasers and, uh, and the Gauss rifle. I mean, he has all the range in the world. That Marauder is so nasty. I don't think it's worth going for it, honestly, because you are investing a lot of your firepower and you won't get the kill quickly. So there are other juicy targets that you can take out and make them not shoot you back anymore. And I think that has higher priority than a Marauder, which is now damaged enough to go for it. So, yeah, I think it's still fine. Got him. Double kill here. Seven and six. The tables have turned again. Oh my god. So, yeah, all of these guys are so damaged already. Lots of armor is scraped off of these dudes. Then there is an Evan Jaguar in the side, which is fresh. Don't come for the Jaguar, he's fresh. Um, yeah, we gotta we gotta wait for the Jaguar to to you know wait for the rest of the team to get killed before we go for the Jaguar. Also, the R button is uh, is lost tag. <laughs> come on, Kid Fox, get wrecked. Yeah, he's about to die. Good idea, going on the legs there. There we go, 10 and 7. In the meantime, we got a Stalker, which is also half dead. 
And I think the Piranha is gonna snatch them. Man, Piranhas are such late game heroes. However, you cannot be a late game hero if you're out of ammo, huh? Let's see. Yeah, Micros. Maybe they have enough firepower to get the side torso off. And they do. Wait a second. <laughs> the kill steal. Beautiful. That was a GG, everybody. Nice game. Yeah, it was kind of like a more brawly, a bit more active scenario here. And I, I took a little bit more damage earlier than I actually wanted. But in the end, it worked out. We got 723 damage out with 11 assist and 1 KMDD, 410 damage taken on a little cougar. Crazy. Two components destroyed as well, and that was your daily dose for today. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support what I'm doing here, you can do it on Patreon. That's a uh, link down below in the description, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.